today I'm going to make Candace Chan. She's going to share with us the five things you should do to improve your life and business. Candice, what are the top five things you do that's improved your life? I think definitely learn to visualize your life. Visualization is extremely important. Just imagine your life, what it would be in 10 or 15 years. When I was a little kid, I think my father asked me, so what do you want to do in 15, 20 years? And I always have this idea that I want to be an interior designer. I want to set up my own company by the age of 30. So this is something that has always been in my mind. Subconsciously, so you will, you know, do things certain ways. And part of the visualization is that you kind of have a blank canvas. You're basically doing a painting. You have to outline the subject matter. When you have the outline of the subject, you just dab colors and have, you know, paint. Those colors will easily be put onto this painting. So once you have the outline, you, everything just falls into places. So Candice, what is the second thing you do to achieve your goal? Uh, once you have that image in your life, uh, in, in your mind, it's important to have concrete, attainable goals. I have a to-do list that I write down every day before I leave the office. I would write down what I have to do the next day. The next day when I walk into the office, I know exactly what I have to do. I have a synchronized calendar with my staff my team and my family, my husband. That's something I use that I think is extremely useful. I still tend to use paper and pen. I have a little black book that I write down some of the things that I have in mind. I sketch constantly for my projects or some of the ideas that I have in mind. But to plan ahead, uh, definitely my iPhone and my uh, iPad and iPhone. So. When you have your plan, when you have your goals, you have to stick to it, be focused, or even my friends, they kind of procrastinate, they don't know what to do, they overanalyze the business plan, they overanalyze a lot of things. When you have a good idea, you just have to dive in and just work on it. At the end of the day, when you plan something, certain circumstances, it might you know, not happen the way you want it. So why you know, overanalyze the situations. When I realized I have to focus maybe four to five hours today, I would just sit down at my desk and put my phone aside. Even if it rings, I would just dedicate that four hours straight and just to I'll focus on that and, and do it. I think it's very important to have that one fluid thought instead of having being interrupted. I am just curious, like you're a mom of three, right? right. So there must be some moment like your kids are calling you right. and how are you going to stay focused just on your work? Right. It all comes down to, you know, when we have visualized when there's a goal. It's easy to, for you to prioritize the things. For example, you dedicate this time of the day, it's for my kids. Sing to them, talk to them, read them stories. You know, when the client, there's a client meeting, then I'll switch, take off different hats and, and be at that moment, be focused and have 100% of yourself to and dedicate that time to them. So, how do you deal with stress? in today's society, I think it's a stressful, especially living in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. I read an article about stress can lead you to a lot of, you know, chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. For me, I get stressed out easily. And the problem with me is that I, I would have to I tend to solve it by myself. I don't, you know, I talk to my husband a lot of, you know, most of the time, but a lot of things, if I don't want to bother anyone. I just have everything resolved by myself first and then and consult others. But I think the major key is to, you know, make friends with stress. You know, stress is not something that you have to stay away. In the past 10 years, I've been constantly trying to ways to stay away from stress. Or, you know, when stress becomes your friend, it's actually, you have a good feeling, you know. It's something that I've learned um, finally after 10 years. I have to, you know, challenge yourself. But sometimes if you want the progress, you have to challenge yourself. Right. You know, you have to be adaptive uh, in today's society, especially now that I'm a mother of three. I have three kids, two boy and a girl. Constantly, you have to realize that uh, you are a business owner, a designer. At the same time, you have to take care of the three kids. 
my way of thinking is that um, I, I'm a visual person, so I visual time in a, in a timeline or a pie. So I have to dedicate like 30% for my kids in the morning, I have to dedicate that time, maybe a 50% on, on meeting clients. Once you have that idea, I think managing time would be you know, having that vision in life. <laughs> yes. Ladies, this video is sponsored by our perfect partner Hobbs, a premium women's fashion brand. Female entrepreneurs worldwide and Hobbs will be hosting events in Hong Kong this year. Stay tuned for our announcement and we hope to see you in our events.